Yo, what's going on guys? It is Insanity here and welcome to today's video and in today's video we're going to be going over where you can farm yourself all four new class mods within the new DLC in Borderlands 3. Now just before this video starts, if you guys do go ahead and enjoy or if you found this video informative, please leave a like as it also does help this channel grow and also please subscribe if you are new. I do Borderlands content like this almost every single day so please consider subscribing. If you guys missed yesterday's video, I went over the brand new news that's going on within the coming weeks, coming months in this game like crossplay and stuff like that. If you missed that, go check that out in the link down in the description below. So anyways, today we're gonna be talking about all four new class mods. There are four legendary class mods that were added within the Krieg DLC, and each Vault Hunter has one. So pretty much Flax is the Peregrine, Zanes is the Hustler, Mose is the Flare, and Amara has the Muse. So the Peregrine is whenever Flax racks hit an enemy, they drop a grenade, and this can pretty much be used in a variety of different ways. Uh, you know, get creative with it. There are a lot of grenade mods in the game, so have fun with it. Zane's Hustler class mod is when damaging an enemy with a non-critical hit grant Zane a stacking plus 25% increased critical hit damage and a 5% chance to for a non-critical hit to score a critical hit and this will consume all the stacks once you actually do hit a crit and this affects stacks five times. That would be pretty good for a Zane mobbing build and I'm going to be experimenting with that in the coming future. Now the flare is Moses and it, you can gain up to 100% damage while Iron Bear is active and decreasing as Iron Iron Bear's fuel depletes, pretty much making you most powerful when Iron Bear first activates. And the Muse for Amara is whenever Amara damages an enemy with a melee attack, she projects melee damage outwards of her tuned element and another to another nearby enemy so she can have corrosive fire or electric kind of like project out which is pretty interesting for melee amara builds so that's a pretty fun one as well so all four of those class mods are available from spe separate bosses that you can farm in the game but it can also be found from one boss entirely all four of them but if you're looking to exclusively farm one of these these are the drops and who drops them so the flare drops from evil mordecai the muse drops from evil lilith the hustler drops from locomobius and the Peregrine drops from Dr. Benedict. And all class mods are able to also drop from the side boss named General Blister Puss. General Blister Puss is unlocked after doing the mission for the PAT or the PAT gun that is located in the Castle Crimson. He's pretty much off to the side of this like infinite looping staircase kind of like trippy, really, really trippy room, honestly. But uh, just follow the route on screen. You are going to pass PAT on the way to like on this route so pretty much just follow the route and you'll find pat if you haven't done the mission yet but if you have just follow the route brings it right to general blister pus and you can just keep farming him for at least one of these new class mods i'm gonna go into in depth with these new class mods in future videos but i just want to let you guys know where to get them and they are pretty decent pretty fun to use so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video so if you guys did enjoy today's video please leave a like as it also does help this channel grow and also subscribe if you are new for more borderlands content like this and yeah it's been insanity and i'll see you all later